Hi, this is a demo of WhatsApp automation with HubSpot. Now the one thing you need for this solution to work is the WhatsApp business API. Provided you have the business API and you have the solution, here's how things work. Let's say you have a page uh, with a form uh, and anybody who fills the form, you want to send them a particular WhatsApp message. Now to do that is, uh, the way to do that is to set up a simple workflow like this. Let's say anybody who fills the form becomes members of a particular list. So your trigger criteria is list membership. Uh, we choose the uh, list that you want. Let's say this is the list that I want to choose. Here we go and we do an apply filter. We delete the already existing trigger. There you go. And so this is our trigger which is set. So this is the list that I have and I can save the trigger. And as you can see, this is the list and there are like three people in the list right now. So once the trigger is set, the next thing is to set up the WhatsApp message that we want to send. Uh, starting this from scratch, uh, we choose send a WhatsApp message. Here we can enter the WhatsApp message that we want. Uh, this has to be a pre-approved WhatsApp message template. Uh, so here are our list of messages approved by WhatsApp. Let's say we select this and we go in there and paste this. We can customize this with HubSpot customization tokens. Uh, Here is let's say select a name, uh, first name and we select a date. Uh, here we go. Let's say we select uh, became a lead date. So the message is friendly reminder. We have a meeting booked and the personalization tokens. We hit save. So that's our workflow set right there. We can switch on this workflow. Yes, enroll and we can turn this on. So now that we have this turned on, uh, the message would have gone to any people who meet the workflow criteria. Now this was our list. Let's say we go into any of the timelines uh, for this particular contact, let's say. Uh, and here's the timeline. We do a refresh and we should be able to see whether they have received the message or not. So let's go right here. Uh, here we go. So this is the message that we sent them. A friendly reminder meeting booked along with the personalization tokens which have worked so you can see the message being logged on the timeline you can also go to your right hand panel and see the message being logged here which is the show conversation box with their entire chat history now if they choose to reply to this particular message you have a 24 hour opening in which you can reply or send them any message that you want and you can do that from right here as well what you also get on the panel is the tool dashboard and if you click on it, here's what the tool dashboard looks like. You have a list of all your contacts and you can go to any of these contacts and you can see their entire chat history. Again, if they choose to reply to you, you can reply from right here as well. Now this is one of the basic kind of automations that we do. Another kind of automation that you can do is based on the kind of WhatsApp reply your contact sends you. So let's say we have a workflow right here where the trigger is a message sent by a contact. So if we were to start from scratch, let's say we have a trigger which is WhatsApp automation message received. Uh, we can further qualify it by saying that if the message received contains any sort of word, let's say the word demo, which indicates their intent that they might want a demo. So we create this trigger and we do an apply filter. Let's say we delete the old one. So anybody who sends a message that has the word demo, uh, we want to send them an automatic WhatsApp reply with a certain message. Now the message that we want to send, let's say is sure, we'll be in touch and set it up or something of that sort. And we do a save. So this workflow is set and we can switch on this workflow. Um, and we switch this workflow on. Now let's say the particular prospect, they send a WhatsApp message that contains the word demo. And once they do that, they would have received a WhatsApp message. They would have received this WhatsApp message that we set for them. So if we go into the particular contact timeline and we refresh, we should see that they have received the message or not. Here we go. Uh, here is a list of the messages. So here is the message. Here is the message that this particular contact sent. Uh, which is would like a demo in response to which they would have gotten our automated message which is this sure we'll be in touch so those are the two key kind of automations that you can do with this particular tool and if you think any of these features are going to be helpful for your business do reach out to us and we can set up a more customized demo for you thank you